everyone, it's Gordon Einstein again, your happy crypto attorney host, broadcasting not live, but live for us, but not live from you, for you, from wonderful Dubai, the Vaco Hotel. And with me is the man who only goes by his initial because he's so famous, G. <laughs> yeah, right. G. Nice Welcome. to meet you here. It was so, uh, we actually were for a week in Dubai and just met for an interview, and so it's the privilege for me to talk to you right now. Thank you, I'm honored. So, and I appreciate you making the time and I appreciate you being persistent because <laughs> sure. between my exploring, you know, my first time here, between exploring Dubai and sleeping, yeah. I've not been super available. But uh, it, you're, you're a good man, so thank you. Yeah, it's quite good. Uh, I visited a lot of conference and uh, really actually do understand uh, your graphic and, and yeah, schedule. You, you got it. Yeah. Um, so we, we don't have that long. I want, to, I, want, I want to make good use of the time. I want to focus on what you're looking at now and your current approach to things. But I always like to start off these shows with what I call the Wolverine origin story. I want to know your origin story. Like, how did you become you? And then how did you get into crypto? So, you know, the Wolverine was born somewhere. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in Crimea. Crimea? Yeah, right. So it was actually star, actually Ukraine, and then I moved to Moldova as well. And I finished my school in Moldova in Kishinev, and then I moved to St. Petersburg. That's my origin. And then St. Petersburg was 1999? Yeah, 1999. Or so? Right. And your primary place has been St. Petersburg since then? Yeah. Good to know. Yes. And you're married, and you got kids. Yeah, I've got two brilliant kids, and I've got Super Prince's wife for 16 years, and I'm so happy. 16 and years, folks. Actually, I'm becoming happier every day because of her, and actually, when you're talking how you became, be, uh, became yourself, I, I, I tell you that my wife made myself. So, Mrs. G, Yeah. when you watch this, I want you to understand that Mr. G just basically attributed his entire progression as a man to you. So actually, that, that's love. Actually, she knows it. She knows it. I, I, I know, but you're saying it publicly, my friend. <laughs> on Crypto Wednesdays, millions yeah. of people will see this one day. So th there you yeah. go. I love it. Right. Okay. So now tell, I always, now the next origin story is how did you get into crypto and blockchain? How did the light go off for you? Well, uh, in 2015, I started like a VCs. I was a LP VCs, and I spent a lot of money and a lot of time just working with startups and uh, so on and so on. And then I just you know, was really depressed about the Russian VCs as well. And then appeared this wild. Now, just, just so I understand, you're saying VC venture capital? Yeah, right. Okay, right. right. I was an LP in VCs. Right? Okay. So I was very depressed with Russian venture capitalists, and then appeared this. ICO boom and madness. I have a friend. His name is Alexander Guy. Probably you, you have I know, seen him. Of course. And it's he is on our group chat here in Dubai. This is yeah. a happening chat, by the way. You should definitely get in on it. Yeah. So it's a, a really great guy, and we were sitting in 2015, just talking about business and so on. And it was moving to Australia when he met with uh, Sergey Sergeyenko. Probably you know yep. this as well. So we were just uh, texting all of 2016. And probably in the middle of 2017, I lost all of my money. I was totally broken. Wow. Okay. And I called him and said, hey man, let me clean the closets in your office. Just teach me how to be good in crypto. He said, it's okay, just take this project and sell some tokens somewhere. And that's how uh, my story began, uh, started in the blockchain. But actually, in 2009, I have a friend in from my uh, university. In 2009? Yeah, 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 right. So, so the, the, less than one year after the white paper. Yeah, out. right. And he said, hey man, he's a Bitcoin. I said, what the sh is Bitcoin? He made, what the sh is, <laughs> is is another way of saying what the heck. Yeah, right. Uh, well, okay, there you uh, go. Sh, yeah, sh, 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 sh. It's a new Russian word for you. <laughs> sh. Okay, sure. go, go and ahead. He said, I said it's a new g digital currency, you know, and you just have to push this bu uh, this button and you get in some bitcoins. And we got some something like 300 of bitcoins from the crunch. And then it was 2017, and he called me and said, "Hey, man, do you have these computers?" I said, "No, it well, it was 10 years ago." This happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, "Do you know 
how much Bitcoin mm. worth right now and said no oh man it was <laughs> such a story and then in 2017 I, I really for me it was like a fresh air after the VCs because I really believe that crypto is a new hippie era for everybody this brotherhood I know I, I know a lot of people all around the world and it's mm -hmm. such a brothers in crypto right so well, I let's see. say brothers and sisters <laughs> let's, let's say it's a tribe yeah, uh, I know more brothers than yeah, sisters. Yeah, me, me too, anyway. to be honest. I'm, <laughs> a, I'm working on that, actually. Yeah. That's a, especially for the speakers for our show. Yeah. I'm trying to bounce it out. Yeah. And yes, I have to admit, I started off knowing more men than women, yeah. but now I'm trying to expand. So just, it's just, my philosophy on this is just because you start somewhere, yeah. that doesn't mean you need to end somewhere. Yeah. So let's make 2021 the year of bringing women into crypto. I, I think we should not be sexiest. We, we, we love all, all the human beings and so on. There you on, go. So yeah, Perfect. So but go ahead with your yeah. story. Uh, and then uh, I was started like a mark, uh, market manager. Actually, I started like a uh, investor relationship uh, officer and it brought some a couple of thousand dollars to some project. And I thought it's quite boring. I wanted to run my marketing agency. And our first project was Phenome from San Francisco. And okay. And we helped them to raise something like 42 mils in December 2017. 40 million US dollars? Yeah, yeah, right. But That's a good result. It, yeah, but it's not all of us. Uh, we just brought them something like seven or five meals, something like that, because we, we only. Yeah, well, right. It was uh, Wild West time, so yeah. everything was growing. You know, you, you you could just sign I'm an ICO and you would sell for a couple of meals or yep. something like that. But then in 2018, I was started uh, to manage my own project. It was enterprise blockchain. Uh, blockchain protocol for enterprises named Kratos Protocol and actually the problems of Ethereum was the same as today mm -hmm. the scalability and still uh, Vitalik well, let me interrupt one second so do you think that's still true with Ethereum 2.0 yeah yeah okay because the architecture of this uh, Ethereum is not fit for, for the proof of stake, as I think. But okay. anyway, I just, uh, hello Vitalik, and still scalability problem, so please make your will and do something for the nodes holder, because people cannot be just be enthusiastic when the node costs 500 of bucks, and still you have to hire your like gas uh, maximum gas limit and you get the still uh, the same problems like scalability because old nodes would not work so please so let me be clear Vitalik yeah I know you're watching this yeah. I know you are at some point you will watch this yeah and so we're both eager for Ethereum 2.1 which will address Ethereum scalability issues we're, we're rooting for you buddy I know you follow me every day on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and where else? Anyway, I'm speaking to you directly. Uh, but so. I, I mean, uh, you should to face to the people. I mean, all of you guys becoming like a new enterprise or or a new corporate monster. But one thing I want in crypto that it would be owned by people, not by enterprises or something like stuff. That, I mean, uh, face to the people and reward the you know, node holders this enthusiasm and any, anyway it was like uh, 2017 uh, 2018 uh, May and we started our Kratos protocol but uh, being a hustler I made a mistake because I was very well known on foreign market and I didn't go there for selling my product mm. so I deep in the technique uh, technology and all this stuff I became some kind of product owner and we spent a lot of money and a lot of time and we the crypto winter happened right then in 2019 well, I don't know if it's a mistake you just learned uh, yeah I mean, we have to yeah. pay our bills for studying right yeah so anyway I just moved in 2019 I, I just moved to Seoul and spent there for four months so Seoul, Seoul Korea yeah yeah right uh, Taiwan, Singapore, and so on, and in so, so you have Asia, you have Asian experience, yeah, yeah, and time, yeah. Actually, I really, I didn't understand Asia before the 2018 as well, so I have enough time to like to know it. Okay. And then uh, in the early 2020, 
I started another one project. It was like um, tokenization of uh, metals, like London Metal Exchange, you know? The same one, but in crypto. Because I think that derivatives is, is a huge market. And actually right now, a lot of guys from uh, like traders and something like that, they, they're thinking about how they can uh, do something in, in, in the crypto, but still have no instruments for that. So we built some kind of, uh, it was named Stamp Exchange, mm -hmm. and we built the tokenization. I think I heard of it actually. Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Well, I, I posted a lot of these things, uh, but still, right now it's paused. Uh, right now it's paused because of COVID, and we lost a lot of investors. And they said, it's um, a gloomy and dooming time, and we don't know, we don't know, uh, sorry, just. Mm -hmm. uh, but we talked to a lot of guys actually from US and uh, Japan, because we said, we want to build it uh, like worldwide, not in just Switzerland, like Palladium in, mm -hmm. uh, and some things like that. So we, we want to make it worldwide. But still not a good time right now because everything, uh, everybody is in cash and waiting for some mm -hmm. crisis, you know, because a lot of guys just saying the crisis will come the next year or probably the year after the next year. It's, it's always going to come and we'll always recover. But I mean, let, let me fast forward to you a little bit. Because we had a fascinating discussion up by the pool yeah. about NFTs yeah. and your, I don't want to give it away, but your card type thing. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's use the time we have to kind yeah, of dive yeah, into yeah. that. Yeah. And actually, do me a favor just for the audio. Guys, we're, we're in the lobby of the Baco. I want to make sure you catch all of this. So to the camera, and I'll ask you questions, but ex explain what you're doing. Yeah, uh, well, uh, back to uh, 2019, I was met with Andrew Fai, and I really appreciate this friendship because I, I learned from him uh, so much. And we are talking a lot in 2020, and he said, when it was a DeFi boom, and he said, hey man, the next, uh, the next thing in DeFi would be NFT. Of course, we know about the NFTs, uh, about the crypto keys and so on, but still it's a game. But right now, today, I just read a tweet from from guy. Um, he said, "You know the crypto. Uh, I mean, NFT market size is 600 billion of dollars." Well, I said, "Yeah." And Andrew Fai said, "Man, the next thing is NFT." And with his help, with help of his project, like uh, Token Fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, Token Fighter. Token fighter, right? Like, like street fighter. Uh, yes, quite no, similar, no, no, but I, I but, you, it, cool. but you can find there like uh, she's uh, fighting with uh, Arthur Kais or something like that. Oh, so, funny. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's really funny. But uh, actually, I, I wanted to move further. Don't use the NFTs like a key to the game. I just I was th uh, I was thinking about it, and I said I want my NFTs uh, will be used in the platform like a loyalty card. So what we done? So first, uh, we created the magic cards. Mm -hmm. The magic cards it's like a kind of loyalty card, but inverse. So you can use it to gain more profit from the exchange. And as a core, it's an exchange named Emmy uh, Swap. So sorry, Ambi Swap. Ambi Swap. Okay. A uh, E M I Swap. Okay. So um, you just uh, if you imagine some kind of things like banks, if you put in your or you found some banks, you get in nothing or you get in minus or get something. So if we are talking about DeFi, DeFi it's a new kind of bank. Mm -hmm. We cannot uh, like from the legal side we cannot call it uh, banks, but anyway it works like banks. So if you put and sell, let's say it has a bank-like function. Yeah, right. It pays a return on your deposit. Yeah, okay. of course. So yeah. uh, if you put in some kind of projects like Compound or Celsium or others, you're just getting uh, from eight to fifteen percent per un, uh, annual uh, annually for your deposit. And that's uh, how it works in our project. So you put in money in any swap. And you have an additional magic. Actually, okay. it's a magic card. If you own a magic card, you can get more from uh, the exchange. But it's not all. Now, l let me. Uh, can we grab your phone and can we take show a picture of it to the webcam? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me uh, just. Uh, I know you weren't expecting that, but. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting that. Just keep on talking to you, but uh, let me just find the, it, the great picture. It, it's cool, folks. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this. Yeah, actually, uh, I want to uh, tell that I mm, I bring all my love, 
all my life to this project. Mm. I've been working hard for 20 years just to be here tonight, or probably not tonight, but in, this, in this moment, yeah. and, and I mean, and I, I wanted to bring... You've been waiting 20 years to meet yeah. me and do an interview in the sure, lobby? Sure, sure, Gardner. <laughs> That's right, we're going to do, yeah. do the Kilbert handshake. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, that I was waiting, I was learning for 20 years just to be here and to bring the best product I have. And the thing is that I do not own this product. It's made for people, so it's built for people. I'll show you a picture of uh, some kind of hand-drawn card. Um, just so you guys know, I'm totally ambushing G with this question. So let's hold it up to the webcam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it That's was, good. That works. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like it's a gem down there, right? Yeah, it's a gem. So the first collection named Chase the Gems. But uh, the thing is that we're creating the different uh, collections every time. So it is community-driven project. So we can vote, vote, sorry, mm -hmm. and choose what do you want. Probably you want something from the, the next collection would be called uh, Undefeated Champions. So we use... Say that again slower. Undefeated Champions. Undefeated Champions. Right. Okay, got it. Right. So we would use some kind of guys like Muhammad Ali or something guys. The real champs that uh, haven't been defeated. Like it. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, and actually uh, it is... One artist, one digital artist from California, his name is uh, Ryan Bliss. Probably I've heard of him. And actually, I, I see, I've seen his, this one. I've seen his, his picture, uh, or no, it's, it's not a picture, it's a masterpiece. You huh. see, it's named Portals. Okay. So, uh, this uh, this Portals is like our world. It's so gray and so bad. And actually, you see the Portals when he, you can ex escape from the reality to other world. Uh, so that's on Instagram, right? Or yeah, that's photos? Yeah, uh, this is on my Twitter, actually. Okay. So people in the show notes below, <laughs> when, when I post this. I'll include a link to that graphic because it looks pretty cool when you see it in motion. Yeah, it's, and actually if you're watching it uh, in 5K, it's so impressive. I, I just, you know, I just looked in this, you know. In you this, stay in there, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh my God. Oh okay. my God, yeah, I, I just, uh, just do it like this and oh man, oh man. So it's a real masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, texted to Ryan and said, man, I want to use your, like, your masterpiece in my work. Can I please do it? And we make a relationship. And that's why I'm just collaborate with all the digital artists because I think that NFTs, let's move to the NFTs closer. The NFTs is a great market for, for the artists mm -hmm. because it, when it was 19th century, you just painted on some kind of paper or something like that and it was unique. But now in the digital art, it's so, uh, been copied uh, such a lot of times. And the blockchain can give you the opportunity to make it unique as well. So right. the NFTs uh, brings you uh, like new era of uh, digital artists to make it unique. And as I said, 600 billion of bucks right. on all, yeah. No, you're, you're, you made that great point upstairs before we got together, which is the potential market. If you take art and I think Precious stones, collectibles, and collectibles, and gaming. Billion. I mean, that's a that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's really a lot. It's more actually than uh, the uh, the total crypto market as well. For now. Yeah, for now. Until oh. tomorrow. Folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. but I mean, it's a great potential. And what I try to uh, to tell here that you should be bullish in NFTs in 2021 because uh, you know the crypto market is grown as well. Mm -hmm and we need the new uh, fresh air uh, because uh, actually DeFi and the yield farming blow it out right so right now i don't know if it, you know we were, we were kind of talking about this before i don't i don't think that 2020 was the year of DeFi. i think it's going to morph and grow and evolve in 2021 also i don't think it's done no 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 but i, th I think it's time for more yeah and the NFTs is more. It's not just collectibles. When we uh, just designed our product, we said we should use it inside our platform because a lot of collectibles, uh, a lot of NFTs are just collectibles. So you're farming it and trying to sell on OpenSea, but it's not fair, you know. Uh, well, you can sell it or not. 
it's not a business, it's not a profit for, but of course a lot of us just trying to make some bucks in crypto. And the mechanic is uh, that you put your crypto in DeFi and using an NFT and it's unique, it's still unique. Uh, actually, I can talk that, uh, I can say that um, the com uh, combination of uh, crypto, this decentralized crypto exchange and NFT is unique, but you can say it's a king swap and something like that, but still, they started from NFTs first, Okay. not from DEX first. That's why I, I think that probably we are probably the first. That's great. Yeah. So we'll, is there a website we can link to? Yeah, yeah, sure. And we'll put it in the show notes. Yeah, yeah, right. Fantastic. We still, you, you know, we still reworking it. So every time you can, you can join to our group in, in Telegram and, and get the, the fresh news there. Every time I'm just sharing my thoughts, I just sharing my sketches and something, uh, uh, something like that. Uh, something like that. So um, I mean, uh, it's still developing. I can uh, I can't bring everything in my head from my head to to the public right now. But what we have now, we redesigned our public uh, like uh, crowd sales um, uh, page, and now we have the alternate design. And I will show it to you. Sure. And you, you will. You and you will show it to them. Yeah, yeah, right. You'll you'll be impressed about it. So I thought. We should play, you know. Such is a lot of problems in our lives, so we we, we should find a, a place we, we can play. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, let's make an alternate design. When CEO saw it, he said, hey man, do you understand the um, difference between the revolution and evolution? I said, no worries, man. It, it's just an alternate design, so you can switch to classic. It's okay, but still, uh, here it is. So, uh, cool. hustle. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, it's not focused. That's okay. Uh, and uh, again, in the show notes, folks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, the cards in the alternative oh, that's design. Cool. We, got, we got the death joker. <laughs> yeah, kinda. yeah, right. Okay. So anyway, it's 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 for guys who want to play. You know, I don't mind if nobody would play this, mm -hmm. but if you want to play on the platform, you could play. Anyway, if you gain the card you can uh, have more profit or instant bonus in our token so I, I like it um just to wrap it up is there anything you want to share with our audience about wh what's going on in 21 2021 about dubai about you about what what they should be looking at just if there's a uh, message you want to share with our people here in, in the middle of december 2020 uh yeah of course i, I just want to share you my mood you know I'm, I'm really I'm really believe in crypto and as I said my nickname is in uh, Twitter is crypto hippie so for myself crypto I, actually I don't know if you said that on record before so crypto hippie yeah which is awesome yeah okay uh, anyway well I'm still believe that it's the new era for the freedom the new era for love the new era for peace and in crypto you can uh, find yourself as a new person, as a free person, because a lot of people just, oh, you're so traveling so much, you have a fancy life. No, guys, when I'm, I'm the same as you, but I'm in crypto. That's why it's helping me to travel, to have such good friends like Gordon, because you know, a lot of good people here. Mm -hmm. It's some kind of scam, but uh, around, but anyway, such a lot of good people, a lot of good people. And I mean, I, I found a lot of friends. Somebody uh, just probably would find their uh, like destiny. I, I mean, a girl that I found my destiny. In crypto. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> that's the way. So yeah. I mean, do believe in crypto because it it's still future. Uh, in probably ten years, uh, like it's not my words. So it's it's legally from Ray Kurzweil but the governance and the countries will lose their control on people mm -hmm. and the crypto uh, would bring us to the new level probably we can like for me it's crypto is like made i can more dream mm -hmm. i can chase the stars i can do anything i want and not be connected with something like i'm sorry banks or or banks will change and reach the stars also uh, we, we will see yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, well but well, it's but banks as they happen now yeah 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 i think that it, it was a post in my facebook probably uh a couple of, we of uh, weeks ago that uh, i think that in five years the banking system would uh, definitely change 
That's going to be for interview number two, because that's more of a fish than I want to swallow right now. But th that's awesome. Uh, G, yeah. thank you so much for taking the time to meet thank me here you. in, Juba yeah. in yeah. Dubai. Thank you for being on Crypto Wednesdays. Uh, everyone, please look at the show notes at the below. We're going to link to G's social media and his projects. Um, this is a good guy. Anyone who, anyone who comes to Dubai wearing a New York hat. <laughs> sure. Officially the qualified. New era. Cool. New era. New era. Uh, cool. You know, and, and we had a more, not a more extensive, but a, a, an additional conversation upstairs. And there, he has a lot of depth. He has a lot of kind of wisdom. And just, I encourage you to reach out to him. And we're all learning. And one thing that he shared earlier, you know, from he's always reading, he's always learning, he's always diving in and expanding his knowledge. And I encourage everyone watching the show, do the same. Be like G. Yeah, be like thank G you. Money. Be, be like Gordon, and I'm really happy oh, G, to. Gordon to is G too, yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're, we're all good. But I'm gonna <laughs> be a fist bump. Thank you. All right. Thanks everyone for watching.